Hello everybody, welcome to this video and happy holidays! So my name is Mia and as you know the holidays are coming up and Black Friday is coming up so that means that you have to do some holiday shopping for any presents that you want to get and I'm here to help you with that. So this video is a Christmas wishlist video but basically I'm gonna give you ideas for you to put on your Christmas wishlist or if you're buying for someone this is like things you could get for them a lot of these gifts are kind of catered towards teen girls but these can honestly work for anybody and i tried to get things that a lot of people would like so please subscribe and let's get started okay so if you see me looking down i have like the wish list on my phone so i just need to make sure i'm getting you the product so i think the first thing i want to start with is tech you know, because we got to get these big ticket items out of the way. So obviously you can ask for a new iPhone. The iPhone 15 just came out. I actually got the 14 Pro back in July and I love it. The camera is great. So if you want a new phone, I mean, you can always try and ask for it. We also have the AirPod Maxes. These are so awesome. I've actually never tried them. I have the Beats. So that's also another option you could get. But these look so cool and aesthetic and they have cute colors. <laughs> we have an iPad Pro. I want one of these for college next year. I don't know if that's going to happen. But these are really awesome. Because I use my iPad with like a little stylus. And I use it to make my thumbnails. And you can also take notes on here. I, don't know, I just think iPads are becoming really handy. Now we have the Canon G7X Mark II. This is actually the camera that I'm filming on right now. It's my vlog camera. I would definitely recommend this camera and it kind of went viral on TikTok for its photos but the photos on here are actually really good like even if you don't know how to program anything if you just go to auto and turn on the flash it has great photos it smooths out your skin and it just makes you look really flattering and obviously the video on here is great and it has a flip up screen so that way you can see yourself if you're vlogging then you can also ask for some disposable cameras to get some cool pictures in the new year okay the last like item i have on here is a kindle i'm kind of a reader girly and i want a kindle for when i go to college because obviously I can't take all my books with me. I just think Kindles are really handy because then you don't have to like get a full book. You can just like do a one-time purchase and then like get books on Kindle Unlimited or something. Okay, now for some accessories. You guys can get a phone case for them. And what I would like to recommend is Case to Five for phone cases. They um, actually sent me this phone case when I got my new phone. I get so many compliments on all my cases because they're so unique. And Case to Five does a really good job on, on having a ton of different prints and then colors and variations that you can do. I have never shattered my phone with this case on, knock on wood, and I drop my phone a lot. I'm a bit of a klutz, and it's fallen downstairs on concrete, it's been like drops like face down, and it's been fine guys. My phone is completely fine, and here is the case that I picked out, and they also sent me some cool accessories, um, because you have the MagSafe. So if your phone has MagSafe, you can get these cool magnetic accessories, just stick to your phone. And this one's like a little ring. Hold your phone. It's so fun. And then another one that they sent me is a wallet, which is so handy because that way, like, if I don't want to bring my full wallet anywhere, um, I could just stick my cards in here. And most of these wallet things, you have to, like, glue them to your phone with sticky stuff and it messes up your phone case. But this one, it's mag safe, so it just goes on like this. And it doesn't ruin your phone. You can just take it off when you're done. It's so awesome. So I highly recommend Case to Buy for any phone cases you want to get. I'm not even kidding, guys. I've used them for at least three years. So if you guys want to check out these, I actually have a code that you could use. I'll put it on the screen here and you'll save some money on these awesome cases so I would really suggest this for Christmas so thank you the case five for sending me all these accessories and cases because I they are my, they are my ride or die I know that case five's got my back and I have one more thing in the tech column so we have the OctoBuddy I've seen this everywhere and I actually really want one because <laughs> basically it's a sticky suction thing that goes on the back of your phone and you can stick it to any surface and it holds your phone up so I really want it for vlogging and stuff because then I can just stick my phone anywhere and I don't need to tripod and I don't know it seems really handy to me so now we're moving on to the makeup skincare and hair category so this is gonna have like makeup skincare and hair accessories and hair related products <laughs> so I went pretty basic with this because I didn't want to pick anything that was too bold that wouldn't appeal to most people and I also threw in some of my recommendations okay so the first thing is obviously the summer Fridays lip balm I have one I have the vanilla beige one and I promise you it is so worth it I know it's really hyped up on TikTok, but I got it before it went viral and it is honestly so good it's my school lip product so obviously it works because school air is just terrible they have tinted ones and they also have clear 
ones I'm pretty sure but I have the vanilla beige one and it gives me a nice toasted brown color on my lips and it looks so good and then another lip product that is another one of my recommendations is this <laughs> this is the Clinique black honey almost lipstick and I recently just bought it but I actually have it on my lips right now this is the color of it it looks dark on the lipstick but when you actually put it on, it's a little bit more sheer. And then the more you build it, it gets darker. And it's the perfect shade for fall. I've been obsessed with berry colors. And this black honey is the perfect shade for fall and winter. Now, this is my recommendations. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft Pop Powder Blush. It's in the shade Wild Berry. I kid you not, this is the best blush I've ever used. It's so good. It is so good. And it's the perfect berry shade. It's like a deeper red. I don't know how else to describe it, but it is beautiful. Okay, the next is another blush. So obviously I had to add in the Patrick Ta blush. This one is a double, so they have a powder and a cream. So basically, I forgot the steps to put it on, but you put one of them first and then the other one on top, and it just just makes your blush look so much more pigmented you really get the most out of your color and Patrick Ta is a genius okay so then we have this refi primer I've seen this all over TikTok and they have the coolest applicator um, to put on your face for primer next we have the hula bronzer which is my favorite bronzer I use it all the time and this is from benefit and then we also have um, the benefit highlighter in the shade cookie this is a recent purchase and it's such a good highlighter okay the next this is a popular one the bronzy drops from drunk elephant I actually do have these and I use them every single day no joke the bronzy drops just help even it all out and they give me a little bit more color and not look pale and ghost like <laughs> another bronzing time thing is the say dew drops I'm pretty sure that's what it's called I haven't tried these but I do want to try them because they're a different consistency than the bronzy drops I think they're more like jelly and they um, also give you a little bit more color on your face okay so next I have a couple things from Glossier I am a huge Glossier fan I would like to say so obviously the Glossier perfume this perfume is amazing if you want to smell clean this is what I imagine clean would smell like okay next we have the ultra lip and I actually have the ultra lip in pony and and it is my favorite thing ever. It's a sheer tint kind of thing. The pony color is also another perfect fall color and it's so nice. This I have not tried but I've seen it everywhere and I really want to try it. This is the stretch face brush and it's like in a little circle and you can close it with a cover but it really just looks like it spreads your foundation over your face nice and evenly. Okay, the last thing I have from Glossier is the Glossier makeup bag. I got this last year for Christmas and I kid you not, I use it every single time I travel or do anything. It is the best bag. It looks cute and then it actually has a ton of room. Another makeup bag that you could use is this pink floral one. This one is a little bit more of a pouch than like a sturdy bag but I think it's fun to like throw all your makeup in it. One thing that I was suggest if you're buying for something for Christmas or if you're asking for something is sets you want to get makeup sets hairbrush sets like anything you are getting more for what you're paying for and it's a good value set so one of them I've seen the Sol de Janeiro set and then I would also suggest getting a makeup brush set because honestly most people don't have good makeup brushes they just use like whatever they can find because makeup brushes are really expensive so if you want to do an upgrade this year ask for a makeup brush set another thing that I've seen everywhere is the Maracuja Juicy Lip from Tarte and it's like a plumping lip gloss type thing and basically they have this set of two that you can buy and I think I don't know if it's still there but for a while it was on TikTok shop for sale so I would go and check it out on TikTok shop if you could get it for cheaper now I'm sure you've seen the road by Hailey Beaver is one of the best I don't know branding that I've seen and they have such clean minimal products they have this set where you can get all her skincare and then her unscented peptide lip treatment this all makes your skin very hydrated and dewy and I know the weather dries out our skin a lot so I think this is a good option and then and you can also ask for her peptide lip treatments or her tinted peptide lip treatments because I've heard great things from them. I actually got my mom one for Christmas last year and she really likes it. The lip tints just came out recently and I really want one. Now let's talk hair. You can ask for any hair tools. One of the ones that I love the most. I used it on my hair this morning. Now this is one of my favorite tools ever. I think I got this for Christmas last year and it is the Revlon Hair Dry Blow Dryer Brush. It is so good for doing blowouts and it's so fun to, I don't know, style your hair. It's basically like a blow dryer. So you can use it on damp hair or, or dry hair. It's a pretty easy tool to use rather than using a blow dryer and a hairbrush. It's like all in one. You could also ask for a beach raver. I know these are expensive, but as somebody who doesn't know how to curl her hair, this seems very handy because it just does the turning for you. Then you can ask for some hair masks. I've seen this one a lot of places. This is the Amika Soul Food Nourishing Hair Mask. And I've heard great things about this hair mask. I definitely need it because my ends are kind of fried, but these are really good for hydrating your hair and just giving it a nice refresh. Then lastly, 
in this category, I have a couple accessories. So I've been into bows a lot recently. You're going to see a lot of bow related things on this wish list. So these two hair bows, one of them is from Urban Outfitters and it's like a satin hair bow, super cute. And then the other one is from Free People. So you can get a lot of bows like these and they're just so cute to put with any outfit. And lastly, I have this claw clip from MEJ. I hope I'm saying that right. This one has cute little bows on it and it's pink, but they have a lot of different claw clips with different styles. And I think if you are a claw clip person and you really want one that's a little bit prettier then you could definitely get this fun hair clip okay guys so now we are moving into clothing and this one's a little bit hard to do for a christmas wishlist video just because people have so many different styles but these are just some of my recommendations you can take them or leave them but i just want to give you some ideas so first of all for jackets these are the cutest thing ever and i know winter's approaching so everyone needs a winter coat and if you don't have one you should probably get one if you live in a cold place these ones from north face are obviously so cute i actually just bought one from fabletics i also found this cute north this one that's white and pink this one's adorable like there's tons of different colors so it would be a great gift to get for somebody so going along with jackets we also have sweatshirts i don't know if you guys have seen this tiktok but there was a trend about if your hoodie is hoodieing for christmas you could ask for a hoodie that hoodies so one of my favorite sweatshirts of all time is from white fox they have the cutest selection awesome color range and they have great hoods they're big and oversized and they're so comfy i've also heard great things about the essentials hoodies i actually don't have one because they're a little bit pricey but if you want to go for a pricier gift then this is a great investment to make okay next sweaters so i found this one uh turtleneck sweater this one is from madewell super cute and then another one is obviously the Rory Gilmore sweater. This one will be in the description below, but obviously you can find Rory Gilmore sweaters everywhere. And then I saw this fleece jacket from Free People. This one is so fun for over workout sets or even to wear with jeans and a cute top. Okay, and then I have one more sweater from Free People. This one has a really cute pattern on it and it's a cropped sweater. So this one's a little bit more stylish and it will really stand out. Another great thing to ask for for Christmas is jeans because jeans tend to get pretty pricey. Some of my favorite jeans right now are the Madewell jeans. I have the perfect vintage wide leg jeans and I wear them like I'll wear them three days in a row and then I have a second pair so I'll wear that the rest of the week. They are so comfy and it's just a really great purchase other jeans that i would recommend are the abercrombie and finch jeans they are so soft they have the softest material ever i have the 90s high-rise jeans and then i also have like the ankle short jeans next i looked at some things from skims first of all i think you should add the cotton rib tank to your wish list because i have one of them and it is the best staple tank top and it's so flattering and it has great colors a good basic to have in your wardrobe i also saw this boyfriend t-shirt and boxer set and it has little ski people on it so it's really cute christmas pajamas for winter next for some reason i've been obsessed with boxer shorts and i found these these are the cutest boxer shorts i've ever seen these are from oddly i believe i don't know if i'm saying that right but it'll be in the description but they are the cutest boxer shorts i've ever seen they have a ton of different colors and for some reason i've been obsessed with them for sleeping and for wearing out and about i just think they look so cute with everything <laughs> next you can get people some pj set so i found these really cute ones on oh my gosh i don't even know how to say it did Jerf Avenue. I don't I don't know how to say it, but these are the cutest pajamas I've ever seen. I don't have any pajama pa sets. I usually just wear a t-shirt and shorts to bed, but it'd be so cute to have a fun matching set. Okay, now let's talk Brandy Melville because I love Brandy Melville. I don't know if you guys saw my Miami vlog, but we went to Brandy Melville there and I bought so much stuff. Like I picked up almost everything in the store and tried it on. <laughs> so Christmas is a great time to ask for stuff from there because it's all super cute and basic and they're good staples for your wardrobe. So here are a couple of the things that I have an eye on and they're super cute. So first we have this uh, hearts bra top. It's so cute. They also have these cute little heart socks and just imagine wearing these with Ugg boots. They would look so cute sticking out the top. Then we have this like floral cotton shirt shorts and these look super comfy for bed or for wearing them out or over a bathing suit and then i recently got these but these are the anastasia tie sweatpants these are one of the best sweat sweatpants i've ever owned i wear them constantly now of course you can also ask for some stuff from lululemon because i know their stuff can get pricier so obviously you always want to have lululemon leggings on your wish list because those last forever i have one pair and they are amazing they fit so well they're durable you can also ask for some long sleeves tops i found this one on cotton on and i actually have it in black this is the scoop net long sleeve top and it is a perfect top for any occasion because it really pairs with 
anything so well. Then I went on this website, Laguna. I hope I'm saying that right. But I found a couple cute t-shirts and stuff that are adorable and a little bit different. So there's this store t-shirt and then this one that says 97. And then they also had a sweatshirt that had cherries on it, which is so cute. And I think these are some fun clothing options. Then, of course, you can get a mini black skirt. I don't own one, but I've been wanting to own one for a while. Now, let's move on to some shoes that you can put on your wish list. So, obviously, Uggs. These are the classic ultra mini. These are adorable and chestnut and everything. They also recently came out with the Mad Happy X Ugg collab, and those are adorable as well. And then, obviously, some Ugg slippers, too. Next, we have these Adidas. These are the Women's Campus Double Zeros. I don't really know how to pronounce that. They are the cutest thing ever it's gonna go with everything it looks adorable okay these shoes i saw somebody wearing them and i fell in love immediately these are the steve madden cherryish red ballet flats and they are the cutest thing ever they're these shiny bright red and they have a cute little bow on the toe and then you have like a little bit of a heel so it gives you some height but they are the cutest they are really good for christmas as well because they're red and i just think they're so elegant and pretty okay so next we have jewelry so i'm gonna recommend a couple companies that i found that you can look on there for jewelry because it is adorable so first of all we have kendra scott i own two kendra scott necklaces but right now they have really cute bracelets and necklaces and i think they're just so pretty and elegant with the stones and everything next e newton i got some e newtons as my senior gift from cheer and i got the little bracelets and they are so amazing i wear them every time i wear gold jewelry and it matches so well with everything i think they just really elevate what you look like that day just because it adds something to your outfit <laughs> another website that i found was in route i don't know how to say it so i found these bow earrings i Again, I'm obsessed with bows right now. And they have the cutest little bow stud earring. And then they also have a ring that's a bow that matches. And then they have this heart ring. And it's a cherry red heart in gold. So I would definitely recommend checking around that store. And then Starlight Village. I don't own anything from here, but I've been eyeing everything for a while. This is by uh, Hannah Maloge. And she just, she gets it. She knows what to do. And she has these adorable aquamarine starfish earrings like if you've seen that movie how she has starfish on her ears and they talk to her they're inspired by that and it's the cutest thing i've ever seen and lastly for jewelry i've seen this going around but you can get a bubble letter necklace you can get your name or your initial in bubble letters and it's on a necklace and for some reason it just looks so cute because the letters are so puffy and it's so fun that is it for jewelry all right guys i'm back sorry if the angle's different but i just went to a doctor's appointment real quick okay so let's jump right back in okay so the next category i have is books so recently i've become a book girly it started in 2021 and it's been great um i have my own bookshelf i don't know if you see back there i have some books up there for christmas obviously you can get somebody a barnes and noble gift card a book gift card to whatever bookstore that they like to shop at or I have some book recommendations and then some other books that are on my wish list so I'm just gonna give you those real quick okay so my all-time favorite book ever in the whole entire universe is Dance of Thieves Dance of Thieves is part of a duology with Vow of Thieves I don't know if you can see them they're on the second shelf right here it is the best book I've ever read. I gotta say, it's not for everybody. It's kind of a fantasy with romance. It was the perfect book for me. It got me into reading. I would definitely recommend that book, although if you know that you're not super good with fantasy, I do gotta say that the first couple chapters, it's a lot of like world building, but once you get past that, it is so good. It is so good, I swear. But there is a trilogy that comes before Dance of Thieves that I didn't know about. The uh, Remnant Chronicles, that's the trilogy that comes before it if you don't want any spoilers when you're reading Dance of Thieves. Then, if you want like a dystopian, a dystopian series I would recommend is Shatter Me. I think it's like six books. I've currently read four of the books, and I think it's a really good beginner dystopian read. Okay, then if you want fiction, Daisy Jones and the Six is fantastic. Then a couple romance books I would recommend are Better Than the Movies and Love and Other Words. I read this this summer, and oh my gosh. It is so good. Okay, and then back to fantasy, we have um, A Court of Thorns and Roses. I haven't read this, but I definitely want to read it at some point in my life. And then I would also recommend the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy. This actually comes after the Caraval trilogy, but it's like set in the same world. I didn't read the Caraval trilogy, so I just kind of went straight into it and I was okay. I don't know if you can see it. It's on this first shelf right here. I have Once Upon a Broken Heart, The Ballad of Never After, and then this recently came out like a couple weeks ago. This is the last book, A Curse for True Love. I haven't finished it. It is a fantastic series. It has a lot of romance in it, so I think it's good for somebody getting into fantasy. Okay, I just finished the series this morning, and I'll give you my rating. So Once Upon a Broken Heart was five stars, Ballad of Never After was five stars, and A Curse for True Love was 4.5 stars. 
if that helps your decisions. Now I'm going to talk about a couple of books that are on my wish list. So Renegades is on my list this year. It's the same author who wrote Heartless, which is a book I read this year. I loved her writing, so I really want to read Renegades. I have these on my shelf, and I haven't read these yet, but this is Six of Crows. This is a very good duology, and it comes after the Shadow and Bone trilogy. And then I just received this in the mail, but this is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. She is the person who I saw recommend Dance of Thieves. That's her favorite book, and she is not a published author. She just released her book at Barnes and Noble, so I would suggest checking this out if you want like fantasy. So yeah, those are my book recommendations, and I hope maybe you can put some of them on your list. Okay, so the last category isn't really even a category at all. It's just all the other stuff that I didn't know where to how to categorize it, I guess. So let's start with like bags and stuff. First, I would recommend a bagu. I love my bagu. I have the little camera crossbody one. My mom has the medium nylon crescent bag and this is the most popular one. She got it and she started getting compliments on it and it can fit a ton of stuff. And then bagu has this cute bag with bows on it. It's adorable. I want it so bad. And then of course we have tote bags. This one is super cute, especially if you're a book girl, you know it's kind of essential. Now stick Sticking with the book girly theme, I also want to say you can get them bookmarks. So we have this like normal bookmarks with like the tassels on it, but my favorite bookmarks are the magnetic ones that just clip to the top of your page. I have ones that are Ted Lasso, and that is my favorite show, so it's really fun for me. And then you could get a book in bosser I think that's how you say it basically it's like this clamp thing and you clamp it down on your page and it's customized to say Lauren's library or whatever your name is and it's like a customization to your books so if somebody's really obsessed with books I would suggest getting that for them because that's such a fun personal thing that you can do this is like a book stand if you will like a book press when we like get up to go to the bathroom or something when we're reading I literally find anything I can like I'll use my phone I'll use a blanket I'll use like the end of my shirt or my jacket it to keep my page in the book because for some reason it doesn't occur to me to switch my bookmark around because I'm like oh I'm just leaving for a second so this one you could just lay your book over the top of it and it holds your place and I think that's so awesome because that's such a lazy way of like putting your book there and then even has a little cup stands so you can put your drink down and then put your book down so another bag type thing that I saw is this Lululemon dual pouch keychain I have one and I I have everything on there and they have super fun colors this pink one is adorable mine is like a Kelly green and then a light green okay this one's a little niche but I saw this cherry charm from coach it's not cheap it is the cutest little charm I've ever seen I don't have a bag to put it on but I want this it's so, such a cute little cherry sparkly charm that you can put on a bag or something last for like bag stuff I found this wallet on Kate Spade it's been going around TikTok for a little bit but it's like the matchbox wallet and it is so cute it's so unique i've never seen like a wallet like this awesome like it's kate spade so it's a really good quality wallet i'm moving to college next year so i thought it'd be a good idea that you could ask for sheets even for your bed at home because sheets and comforters and duvets they can get pretty expensive and i found some super cute ones at urban outfitters so i found this this sheet set little pink bows on it and it's adorable because again i'm obsessed with bows and then i also found this duvet and they have like blue string on them and then they like tie into bows and i think it's a really unique but minimalistic design then these cups from anthropology i'm obsessed with them so they all have these cute little designs and they're glass cups like they have one with hearts they have one with bees they have one with like different colored hearts and it's the most adorable thing i don't know and then i also want glass straws because you know they're a so fun and aesthetic okay and then this is kind of like a stocking stuffer thing but you can get the touchland hand sanitizers i've had it once and it is so nice because it's a hand sanitizer but doesn't dry out your hands and make them feel all crusty and it has great scents so your hand sanitizer doesn't smell like i don't know clinical soap <laughs> and last but very not least you can get a cup i know the stanley girls have been super obsessed with the stanley so obviously you can ask for stanley but personally I'm an Owala girl. If you don't know what that is, this is an Owala. I have a white one and it's such a good water bottle. It doesn't leak. Basically, it, it spout. It has an option where you can sit and it has an option where you can like chug. It has a cap so it's all closed up and it locks and then it has a handle that flips up so it's not always up so it's not in the way but you can like pull up the handle and then carry it like this. Highly recommend it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I lied. So I do have one more category and it's not really even a category at all. It's just what to get for the Swifties. I'm a huge Swiftie. I've known Taylor Swift 
since after her fearless tour i went to the airs tour once and i'm going again for the swifties we love our taylor swift merch if you didn't know taylor swift opened her holiday store recently and she has a ton of merch from all her different eras that you can go in and look for obviously some stuff is selling out but i think they actually just restocked as of like when i'm filming this so i would go check it out there's tons of sweatshirts ornaments even like blankets so definitely check out her holiday store if you're buying for somebody who's a swifty and of course you can get them a Taylor Swift vinyl. 1989 Taylor's version came out relatively recently, so you can get them a CD or a vinyl from there. There are also tons of other Taylor Swift type shops, and I saw this one. This is the Folklore Zip Up, and Folklore is my favorite album of all time. This Folklore Zip Up that is fan made, and it is the cutest thing ever. My hey guys, so thank you so much for watching my Christmas wish list video. I hope it gave you some ideas that you can get for people or to put on your wish list. And please remember, uh, Christmas is not about the gifts, but I know that you know relatives start asking, what do you want for Christmas? Or you have to buy something for somebody, and you get a little panic because you're just like, I don't know what they want. But I hope this video is helpful to some extent and I hope I gave good ideas. I don't know. I'm just so excited for the holidays. Please let me know in the comments if you want me to do vlogmas and I will take it into the consideration. I love you forever and I'll see you next time. Peace out.